guys, we're back. I'm R. I'm Bay. And today we're showing you guys how to make, how to use Beyond Sausage um, brats. And then the recipe is Beyond Sausage Street brats. And we got it off of their um, website. It's really easy. They even gave us a recipe for the queso, which is here. And all this takes, guys, is one cup of uh, raw cashews. We boiled them for 15 minutes to soften them. Clove of garlic, a couple of tablespoons of nutritional yeast, and cumin. Put them in your little food processor. And we added um, veggie, broth. veggie broth because it's really thick. So we added it to get it to the consistency that we like. If you like it really, really thick, but don't get scared if you make this, which I hope you do, add some vegetable broth. And maybe she left it off or she either has the best blender in the world. <laughs> anyway, it's simple. So you can see our broth. Bay's going to put it together for us. This is just a great way to make this, okay? Got a few more summer cookouts, guys. All right, so you just put your broth in. We're using a potato roll. Um, use whatever your favorite hot dog bun is, okay? Queso. If you don't want to make the queso, you can buy a queso. It all depends on how much queso you like. Okay, some guacamole. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get you another um, spoon, did I? That's okay, I'll use the knife to get the guacamole on there. If you like guacamole like I do. It's supposed to be on top, though. Okay, it's all good. A little bit more? No, that's enough. Okay. I'm a guacamole person. Golly. Okay. And then some peppers. <laughs> that's a lot. And then jalapenos. Then some fresh jalapeno slices. And let me wipe my hands and I'm back with the smoked paprika. Okay, this is just take a smell. Okay. That can't get any easier, guys. And to make the queso, the longest amount of time was spent on just softening the cashews by boiling them, okay? That's it. And like I said, if you want to skip that step, buy the queso. All right. So we slice a few. I want this in. You put way too much guac on that for me. So. Okay. Cut it this way. A very small piece. Keep filming him. I'm going to grab a fork, guys. I'm going to take a bite. Maybe I should have got another plate. Should I get another plate? Yes. All right. <laughs> Let me grab another plate. Okay. All right. There you go. You might want the knife off. Yes. Thanks, Ray. Okay. All right. It looks really pretty inside. I mean, that looks good. That really smells good. Mm -hmm. All right. Hang on. Let me get a smaller bite. She likes a smaller bite. I'll take a uh, man size bite. I know I took it apart, but. Okay, let's do it. Mm. This is good. That's a great combination. The queso goes well with the um, guacamole and a little heat from your sweetness and heat from the um, jalapenos. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. All right. Definitely thumbs up. Thumbs up. And this is so easy to make, guys. Try this. And like I said, if you don't want to make their queso, but I suggest that you make it because it's really good. It's a good way to try a plant-based cheese, and it's one of the better ones. Right. Uh, with this, though, add some salt. You're going to need some salt for that queso, okay? Salt it to your preference because uh, it really does have a nice salty, nutty taste to it. It's good. really good. This is great. We're going to use this one more often, yes. definitely. Definitely. All right, guys. Thumbs up. Definitely thumbs up. Tell them what they need to do. Go below. Hit the like button. And just try this. It doesn't take that long. Yeah, it's really easy. Right. Yeah. Let us know what you think. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. Spread the love, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.